our guys, um, they fully grasp what's uh, what's uh, what's ahead of them. They fully grasp what's behind them. Um, uh, now, what can we do about it? You know, uh, they understand. You know, we've played two ranked teams uh, on the road uh, and had our had had some decent moments for our basketball team. You know, especially going to West Virginia, where we were really lacking in people, and all of a sudden. They decide they're going to call 51 fouls in the game, so that didn't vote too well for our, our team at that time. But we fought through a lot of adversity, and I don't think the margin um, at the end of the game is quite what the game is all about. Uh, but there's a lot of areas we've got to get better at to, to compete in the middle to upper part of this league. Uh, with that said, we, we fully grasp we have uh, one of the best teams in America, top two teams in America, <laughs> that we got to play next. So... Um, our guys understand the challenge that lies ahead. How important is it to have a good crowd, and, and what kind of a difference can it make for you guys? I mean, having a crowd, you know, that's always good for you as a player when you come in and you see uh, your students and other athletes and teammates, parents, all that type of stuff, just people in the community coming in cheering for you. And we know that when you go on the road, it's tough to play in somebody else's gym. So, I mean, the crowd has a big part to play into that. Y'all you know, know when GIA is rowdy, then it's a tough environment to play in. So, um, I think that'll be a big part of it. If um, a lot of people come out in there and hear loud and stuff, it'll mo motivate us to get started. So a better start than we have been doing. Looking back, how much do you think the crowd helped you guys in those games against Texas and, Can and uh, Kansas last year when, when you guys won late in the game? Oh, they played a big part because, I mean, you know, they're so, they were so loud in here. I mean, we couldn't even hear our plays, so I'm sure the other team couldn't. And, I mean, that just makes the other team a little rattled. And, I mean, but you know, OU, they're a seasoned veteran team. They have a lot of guys coming back, so they're used to that type of environment. But at the same time, I mean, I mean, if they're playing at our place, then it's going to be some times where they're going to get, it's going to be hard for um, Isaiah Cousins or James, I mean, uh, Isaiah Wooder to hear stuff. You know what I mean? I get those Wooder brothers mixed up all the time. Man. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> Jordan Wooder, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, I mean, if the crowd is in it, then I feel like it's always going to be harder for the other team to run what they want to run efficiently. You know, guys just have to make plays at that point.